Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important problem from Dirac Delta function, right? So in this lecture, uh, we'll solve this integral uh, involving the Dirac Delta function. So here we have to evaluate uh, this integral from minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 and uh, we have uh, cosine of 2x and uh, uh, delta of uh, sine x dx right so viewers uh, this problem is going to be a very important problem and here uh, we'll see how uh, we can uh, solve this integral uh, by using uh, an important property of Dirac delta function right so let us start. So now see uh, here we have delta of sine x, right? So uh, we'll first simplify this uh, Dirac delta function by using a property of Dirac delta function, right? So uh, let us first consider this quantity that is delta of sine x, right? And remember here uh, we have the limits of integration from minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 right so here uh, we have uh, minus 3 pi by 2 and here we have 3 pi by 2 right okay now see here we have delta of sine x so uh, let us take f of x is equal to sine x right so that delta of sine x becomes delta of f of x right okay so now here i uh, will uh, mention the important property of direct delta function uh, which says that delta of f of x right so delta of f of x is given by uh, sigma that is the summation sign and we have one over the absolute value of f prime of x of i and here we have delta of x minus xi right so this is an important property of Dirac delta function right so this property uh, shall be used to uh, evaluate this integral right so the first step is to um, uh, take f of x is equal to uh, sin x right now uh, what we will do uh, we will solve this equation that is f of x is equal to 0 right so whenever we have a function delta of f of x we always solve this equation f of x is equal to 0 or in other words we can say that we can equate f of x is equal to 0 and will form an equation in x right so f of x is equal to 0 implies that sin x is equal to 0 because f of x is equal to sin x, right? Now this is a, a famous trigonometric equation. So sin x is equal to 0 gives us x is equal to n pi, right? Where n uh, belongs to uh, some integer, right? So sin theta is equal to 0 gives us theta is equal to n pi so here uh, x is an integral multiple of pi right and n takes the value 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on right so we can write some solutions of this equation by taking uh, some particular values of n so when we take n is equal to 0 it becomes 0 when we take n is equal to 1 it becomes pi when we take n is equal to minus 1 it becomes minus pi similarly when n is 2 we have 2 pi then we have minus 2 pi and so on right so these are the solutions of sin x is equal to 0 right so once we have obtained the solutions of f of x is equal to 0 we find out the derivative of uh, this function f of x right so f prime of x is given by the derivative of sin x and we know that the derivative of sin x is cosine x right so f prime of x is equal to uh, cos of x right so now uh, let us come to the limits right 
see here x varies from minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 right and uh, whenever we uh, come across with the delta function then we have to uh, uh, consider only those values of x uh, which lie uh, within this interval right that is minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 right okay now see uh, here uh, the solutions are given by uh, 0 pi minus pi 2 pi minus 2 pi and so on right and we uh, can easily see that uh, the only values of x which lies between minus 3 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 are 0 pi and minus pi right so only three values of x 0 pi and minus pi lies within this interval minus 3 pi by 2 uh, to uh, 3 pi by 2 right now see if we have here uh, x is equal to 0 uh, then we have here uh, say pi then we have 2 pi and here we have uh, minus pi then we have minus 2 pi right and uh, between as uh, x is equal to 0 and uh, 2 pi here we have 3 pi by 2 right and uh, here uh, minus pi and minus 2 pi between minus 2 pi and minus pi we have minus 3 pi by 2 right so now see uh, minus 3 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 so between minus 3 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 uh, we have uh, these values of x that is minus pi then we have 0 and then we have pi right and the other values we cannot consider here right so only those values of x shall be considered which lie uh, within this uh, integration limits so now uh, here we see that we have three values of x right so uh, we can denote these values by x1 then by x2 and then by x3 right so x1 is 0, x2 is pi and x3 is minus pi, right? So we have x1, x2, x3, right? Now see here we have uh, the absolute value of f prime of xi, right? So here this i uh, denotes uh, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Right? Since here we have only uh, three permissible values of x, so our i, it takes the values uh, 1, 2 and 3. Right? So now uh, taking the values of i from 1 to 3, uh, this property uh, becomes the delta of f of x and uh, we have uh, here the summation sign so i takes value from 1 to 3 right so now uh, taking the summation sign into consideration we have 1 over uh, that is absolute value of f prime of x1 taking i is equal to 1 then here we have delta of x minus x1 plus then we have here absolute value of f prime of x2 delta of x minus x2 and then we have 1 over absolute value of f prime of x3 and here we have delta of x minus x3 right so here we have three terms uh, corresponding to the uh, three solutions x1 x2 and x3 so now taking the values of x1, x2, x3 as 0, pi and minus pi, uh, this expression, it becomes 1 over mod of uh, f prime of 0, delta of x minus 0, then we have 1 over mod of f prime of pi, delta of x minus pi, then here we have 1 over mod of f prime of minus pi, and delta of x uh, plus pi because we have x is x3 is minus pi 
so minus and minus becomes plus so now we have to calculate these three terms right so uh, to calculate these three terms we will utilize this expression right so mod of f prime of 0 is uh, equal to mod of uh, cos of 0 right because f prime of x is cosine x so taking x is equal to 0 here we have mod of cos of 0 that is mod of 1 because cos 0 is 1 that is 1 right similarly mod of f prime of pi is given by mod of cos of pi taking x is equal to pi right so cos pi cos 180 degrees is minus 1 so mod of minus 1 is 1 right and similarly uh, mod of f prime of minus pi is mod of cos of minus pi right and cos of minus pi is minus uh, sorry here we have simply cos pi because cos of minus theta is equal to cos of theta right so here we have uh, mod of cos pi simply that is mod of minus 1 that is 1 right so we see that the values of these three terms are equal and they uh, they are equal to 1 right so now uh, delta of f of x right so delta of f of x it becomes uh, here we have delta of x minus 0 which is simply delta of x and in the uh, denominator we have 1 then we have delta of x minus pi and in the denominator we have 1 and then we have delta of x plus pi and here we have 1 right so viewers now we have uh, delta of f of x is equal to uh, delta of x plus delta of x minus pi and then we have delta of x plus pi right now taking this value of delta of f of x f of x is sin x right delta of sin x so taking this value of delta of sin x as delta x plus delta of x minus pi plus delta of x plus pi in this integral uh, let us take this integral as i right so we have i is equal to uh, minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 and we have cosine of 2x and then we have delta of x plus delta of x minus pi plus delta of x plus pi right and then here we have dx so now uh, to save uh, time uh, we have written uh, quickly these three integrals so here we have cos 2x times uh, delta x then cos 2x delta of x minus pi then cos 2x uh, delta of x plus pi right so we have written this integral as a sum of three integrals right now we can easily solve uh, these three integrals by using a simple property of or the definition of delta function now viewers we know that uh, the integral minus infinity to infinity f of x uh, delta of x minus a uh, dx is simply equal to uh, the value of the function f of x at this point a right that is f of a where this a belongs to this interval right so a belongs to minus infinity to infinity right so this integral minus infinity to infinity f of x delta of x minus a dx is simply equal to the value of the function f of x evaluated at x is equal to a right so if we take this uh, uh, integral then here we have delta of x which can be written as x minus uh, 0 right so the value of this integral 
is simply the value of this function at this point right because this point is 0 and 0 belongs to this interval minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 right so the value of this integral is cosine uh, 2 times 0 right then uh, let us come to this one so here the value of a is pi so here the value of a was 0 here the value of a is pi and pi uh, belongs to this interval minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 so the value of this integral is the value of this function cos 2x at uh, this point pi so we have cos 2 times pi right and then we come to this integral so here we have x plus pi which can be written as x minus minus pi right so the value of a is minus pi and minus pi uh, belongs to this interval minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 right so taking a is equal to minus pi the value of this integral is the value of cosine 2x at a is equal to minus pi right so we can now write cos 2 times minus pi right so now cos uh, 2 times 0 is cos 0 here we have cos 2 pi and here we have cos of uh, minus 2 pi which is simply cos of 2 pi right because cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta right and now we know that cos 0 is 1 cos 2 pi is 1 cos 2 pi is 1 right so this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 right so viewers the value of this integral is equal to 3 and uh, in this way uh, by making use of uh, this important property of Dirac delta function uh, we can easily evaluate uh, these type of integrals.